Prime Minister Modi has arrived in Greece, which is the first visit by an Indian Prime Minister to Greece in the last 40 years. India and Greece have agreed to upgrade bilateral ties to the level of strategic partnership, and Z News has reported that India will clear the sale of the Brahmos NG missile to Greece, that will be integrated on Rafale aircraft, with an aim to counter the Turkish-Pakistani axis in the region. The U.S. Ambassador to India Eric Garcetti has said that the U.S. Congressional notification for General Electric F-414 engine will be granted on 28 August, that will pave the way for the local manufacturing of F-414 engines in India with 80% transfer of technology. The F-414 engines will power the Tejas Mark II and AMCA Mark I aircraft. The Ministry of Defence has signed a 19,000 crore rupees contract with Hindustan Shipyard Limited for the acquisition of five indigenously designed fleet support ships for the Indian Navy. The vessels will be employed for replenishing warships at sea with fuel, water, ammunition, and stores, enabling the Indian naval fleet to operate for prolonged periods without returning to harbour. At a time when the DRDO is gearing up to conduct development trials of the ground-based variant of LRLACM by end of this year, the Indian Ministry of Defence has granted approval in principle for the indigenous development of the 1,500 km range air-launched long-range land attack cruise missile for the Indian Air Force, which will be a subsonic missile with sea-skimming capabilities, and will be launched from fighter jets. The S-4 SSBN was quietly launched in November 2022, and latest reports indicate that the S-4 is now positioned in the wet dock, and will start sea trials in 2024. The comprehensive testing will unfold in multiple phases, and will end with weapons trials by 2026, that will determine the submarine's readiness for operational deployment. The S-4 Star has also emerged from dry docks, and its sea trials will start in 2025. Russia has said that India will get the 4th and 5th squadrons of S-400 air defense systems from Russia by the end of 2024, as problems related to processing of payments are easing out. India has received three S-400 squadrons, out of which two have been deployed on the eastern and western borders. The Defence Secretary laid the keel of four fast patrol vessels for the Indian Coast Guard at Goa Shipyard Limited. It will have a displacement of 320 tonnes, a maximum speed of 27 knots, and will be capable of operating in rough sea conditions. The Indian Ministry of Defence has granted approval in principle for the development of high-altitude platforms for border surveillance and military reconnaissance. Hindustan Aeronautics and New Space Research and Technologies will develop a full-scale HAPS prototype by 2025, that will operate at 20 km altitude, and will have greater maneuverability and responsiveness as compared to satellites. The Ambassador of Peru had visited Mazagin Dock Ship Builders Limited, to leverage MDL's capabilities to bolster Peru's naval ambitions. A comprehensive presentation was highlighted during the visit, as the Peruvian Navy aims to procure an array of vessels, including offshore patrol vessels, coastal patrol vessels and auxiliary logistics vessels.